Hello everyone, this is Yonex here. And due to some technical issues, I have to do my um, voiceover after the video. So I hope it won't bring any problems with issues. So my text might be some places out of place, but I try my best to do it as good as possible. As you might have noticed, I got a new intro now for my videos. So I hope you all like it. Um, for this video, I'm describing that mo nothing is really, um, I will probably make quite some changes still, but uh, last episode with the roads and the highway and the trains, we made, uh, I made a, pretty much a big guideline of how I'm going to place it. And in future I will um, change it where I want it, or sometimes I make the railway um, go go over the road, or like that. So here I'm looking at um, rural stations, or maybe I play someone here. I probably will in future, but I will uh, say some things first. I'm going to start in the top map of the map with um, building my residential zones and a bit of commerce. And then in future we will work on the industrial area. So here we have our um, rail highway. And with the avenue next to it. And I'm going to look how I can connect them the best. So from the real highway, I'm going to make in this area an um, intersection. And then, um, but it's easier to drag it uh, eventually instead of taking the puzzle pieces. So in a moment I will drag it. I hope this video is still uh, fun enough to watch. It's, it's for me quite hard to. Uh, do my voiceover after the video. Normally I do it together with the video. But since it uh, didn't work out, I have to uh, do it again. So now I'm dragging the real highway. First I'm dragging straight. But that's not really uh, how I want it, because I want like a uh, type B intersection so I remove it again and reconnect it and then make it directly type B so it will go if you um, will go more out And there we go. For some reason, it had some issues at some tiles to uh, make the intersection or the exit. Uh, I'm deciding here to connect it to a, a real highway 4, which I will put on that side, and that will go eventually to the map end. So placing my real highway for our starter pieces and then dragging it um, all the way to the railway. The railway is kind of in the way still. But. And to, I'm thinking to make a trumpet intersection first. So to do so, I have to go with the real highway for over, over my highway. So I have to make some extra space and then 
looking at the new NAM pieces, but these are not the right ones. So, but for the intersection we need to, or for going across we need a flex height one. As you can see, they don't go as it should. So I remove them again and then I'm gonna increase the length. So then it will work properly. So I need to increase the length by 15 meters. So I'm using a razor lot which is part of the dam. And I will do the same on the other side. And I uh, drag a road over it. And then I can build um, the road to make the platform a bit bigger. So I want to leave um, one road uh, space between the highway and the flyover or how you want to call it or the real highway 4 which goes over it. So I'm creating some extra space, placing down the roads and then I can now use the flex height again. Um, as you can see, it's still not good because I need flex height 2. And this was level 1. So level 1 is 7.5 meters, level 2 is 15 meters. So, and that works perfectly fine. And this we will need to do on the other side too. I put one placement or holder, placement holder road so I get a smooth transition from. I have a smooth slope with my real highway. But yeah, the railway is in the way and then therefore my slope uh, is a bit um, could change to it. So I'm putting my starters. I need to put the starters on the flat piece so I put it on the end. And then in the end you can either remove your starter again if you have enough highway piece. And then on the end you can remove those placeholder roads and then drag it there. And now we need to do pretty much the same on the other side. And since there are still roads on top, I need to remove them first so I can get like one tile space in, uh, in front of the hill before I uh, will put on the other flex high pieces. I put the placement roads again and first make it a big bigger platform since it is a bit too small to place my flex heights. As you can see the text is a bit too rich so I have a bad angle but because as you can tell there's an extra tail in between now because I had a weird angle. So I have to redo it and unfortunately the road piece and got her away. Or oh, I needed to re-level it. So I changed the direct the angle and then put the flex high pieces again. So there's one tail in between. Which in my opinion looks the best. I don't know uh, what you think about it. So I Level the rest to the ground level, pretty much. 
and then leave one tile open and from there off I will start making my uh, slope from the highway to the level of where the avenue is. As you can see the avenue is pretty close and um, to really make a trumpet into scenes here it's quite hard because there is quite some space needed. So. Yeah, because it's a bit too close, uh, I need some extra space. Unfortunately, the area around the avenue is not at the same height, so I need to make it one height. So I'm placing these roads just to uh, make it all one height. <coughs> Sorry. And then I can build a roundabout, a new roundabout, with a place between the avenue and then, so I can connect the real highway four. And then we can connect, uh, put some starters for the real highway. But because I put the starter on the slope, the slope changed, so I need a straight piece for it. So I'm first going to try if I can replace my current slope, but that didn't work. So I changed the height on the sides, so it's a bit flatter. But still, it's not really how I would like it. So I have to remove the roundabout again. And see, I needed to start a bit earlier because there it's straight. And then flatten that out again until one tail in front of the road pieces. and then remake my slope so now we have our nice slope again i will put the real highway a bit further so i can put my starter piece on the flat piece and then i can drag the rest of the highway it's always a little further around with starter pieces uh, now I can remove the road, connect it, the bridge up. But now we want to replace the roundabout again. So we have to remove the starter pieces and the new highway at least, but we already used the starter pieces, so it will stay the highway as how we want it. Then we connect it to the roundabout, since it makes it easier than uh, having a trumpet in the shades because the space is actually not big enough. Um, as you can tell, the roundabout is here glitching out. So I tried fixing it with a road, but it didn't work. So if you know someone who works on the NAM, uh, like Hal Jackie or some other people of the team, please notify them that there's a glitch with a roundabout. So I tried re-putting the real highway. 
to hopefully get rid of the glitch. And there it's back again. For now we leave it like this and then hopefully we find a solution in the future. So now I'm um, thinking pretty much how to put the intersection, how to connect the rest and uh, drag in the real eye first so the real way is not too much in uh, in the way. And now I have to connect the real highway 6 with the real highway 4. So I am putting some placeholder roads where the real highway goes flat again. So where the slope has ended and a few blocks after that I start my curve to or my in this case entrance from that side. As you can see that some parts um, these parts are already nicely curved. This is a new thing with uh, NEM33. Because normally you still had to uh, put some puzzle pieces to uh, connect them up. And this is one too far. So drag it and remove that part again. Yeah, I not always use B for bulldozer, but it's the short key for it. I'm trying to make it symmetrical on both sides so that the exit is like the same way. It's not completely possible unfortunately, but I try to as close as possible. I'm putting here some placeholder roads again from where the intersection has to come and then I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 putting some placeholders and their uh, highway junction has to enter the highway again. Unfortunately, for some reason, it didn't want to put my road there. So there goes my symmetrical part, which I hope to get. As you can see, I could put it next to it, but connecting it didn't want me to. So instead I decide to move it all one tail up. Because there it wants to connect. I actually have no idea why it wouldn't want to connect. So yeah, this one I made. As you can see, not at the same uh, height as the other one. So I need to fix that in future. For now, I first need to uh, fix the height. Because there is a weird slope on it. The avenue height I will work on in the future. But for now I'm working on the highways and then the avenue I will probably rebuild some parts so I will do my work on that in future. And I will connect the highway entrance just after the roundabout. And I will do the same on the other side. The placeholder road is here useful, so I can use 
I need to decide where this one comes. Um, as you can see, this one didn't get a smooth corner yet, but uh, it will be fine. I'm removing the placeholder roads since I don't need them anymore. Since it's all hobbly on that side, I even it out. Easiest way is just by placing roads. Since the real highway will give me a slope and normal roads will do the same as um, what you as the previous one next to it. I needed some extra space because it didn't want to uh, change the roads next to it. And now I did. So now we can replace it again since our uh, level of terrain is uh, like how I want it again. By dragging you can uh, create a smooth uh, corner. The other one was already smooth since it went automatically pretty much so now we have our intersection with the highway and they can make use of the router mode pretty much to get to the other way or use the exits and entrance to the highway uh, before before the roundabout on the other side of the bridge yeah as you can tell it wasn't on the same place so I'm going to fix that issue. And there we get a nice curve again. And it's automatically a nice curve. Yeah, that was just too much for a bit. So I could do that right away. For the rest, it doesn't matter too much of the rest. It's important to save the game um, regularly since SimCity 4 is likely to crash. Especially with some mods, but also if you're not playing any with any mods. So, you can go from um, the real highway 4, you could go to the real highway 6 or use the roundabout and go on the other side. And pretty much you can do that from all the ways you are now connected with it, sort of. So you can go from up to down, down to up, left to right and right to left. Any direction which you want. But probably you will need to make use of the roundabout on the exit. It's an alternative on the trumpet intersection in this case. To uh, make the... I have a better looking, uh, we're going to use some trees around it. We're going to use uh, beaches evergreen. Sea snow are nice as well, but I prefer the beaches. So, next to all the highway, we're going to place trees. Just to uh, make it better looking. So we start with the corners, or the inside corners. The places which won't be used for anything else anyway. And I think it's a good thing for noise as well to do it next to the junction. Or the MIS. And we continue it actually just till the end of the map so people who live next close to the uh, highway won't have problems really with noise pollution and don't have to look at the highway so 
So all around trees, 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 trees. I'm um, just using beaches. It's one of the trees I like the most, which is available in uh, three months. So now you can see uh, our uh, intersection covered with trees. Only this MIS needs to have some trees next to it still. Yeah, the railway is a bit close to the intersection now, so I have to move that in future, but that won't be a problem. Um, to have a connection with the neighborhood I'm going to build here, I need another intersection or actually an exit from the highway from this side. So I would like to leave enough place between the intersections so traffic won't have an issue. In general, I leave about six, seven, eight tiles in between. And then I make the intersection. For some reason, it doesn't give me the MIS here. So it might be that the terrain is not flat enough, although it looks quite flat. So we change that first. So now it's working at least on the A type. So, and there we go. We do the same on the other side. Drag a bit more, make a nice smooth curve. Same thing on the other side again. Matching it so it's weird and symmetrical. I like things to be symmetrical. I'm thinking to let this MIS end on a roundabout. So I remove part of it. Now you have a lot of turbo roundabouts. I'm not particularly a fan of them. I mostly use the first roundabout, the standard one. Or the one with tram main rails, but we don't have trams here. So let's leave one tail next to it. And then we, next to an exit, we also need a new entrance to the highway from this side. So I'm just going to match that right away. And then I need to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, it's it a bit weird, but yeah, we got our curve like uh, how we wanted. Made it smooth. Same thing on the other side. So type B curve and a smooth curve. We didn't want that road, so we have to redrag our smooth curve. There we go. And uh, again with the roundabout we have the visual glitch. So that's an issue. So we take the avenues and connect that to the roundabout. 
on all sides. And as you can see, the railway is in the way again. So I'm thinking to make the railway elevated in future, at least at this part. And because of the railway in a way, I, it's a bit hard to uh, place this piece, although this is the wrong piece. Uh, I only noticed a bit later. So now we have some more space to put a piece. It's sometimes um, quite hard to place the piece because I want to have it exactly connected and then if you do that then um, if you go one too close it turns around. But as you can see this is the wrong piece because this one goes to a real highway 4 which we have next to it instead of to an avenue since we had the wrong pieces. And we need a transition in our other men menu. And then we want to road to an avenue. We need the uh, avenue 4 to a uh, road or avenue 4 to. Since the avenue 2 only has one tail. And this is the one with Avenue 4 to Avenue 2. And as you can see, when I put it next to it, it turned around again. And then we need an Avenue 2 to a uh, road. Because, yeah, this doesn't match. This is the wrong menu. Because these are the real highway transitions. So just in front of it so we can connect it and then we put the F2 with the, to the road, turn it around so it fits on the right side. Now we can place a road like that and now we need to connect our F2. But unfortunately it doesn't let us because it's too close, so we need to make some extra space and then we build the uh, avenue. And there the glitch disappeared.
for some reason when we placed the connection to with that avenue the glitch was gone again so i don't know exactly why that glitch is coming but yeah it's gone now so yeah in future we need to change the railway i'm planning to build a neighborhood just below the highway just where pretty much the avenue 4 goes to into a road uh, you want to cross over on the over the highway which connects with the avenue so neighbor connecting one and then um, yeah next time we're gonna develop this neighborhood Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you all next time in the next episode.